November 22nd. And it is currently 4 o'clock, so I don't have much time. I'm currently here at Springfield Nathaniel Green Park. I think it's also known as Botanical Gardens. But uh, at this point, there really isn't anything to see. A lot of the trees are dead. A lot of the plants are gone. So people just come here to have a brisk walk and get some exercise. It's pretty uh, chilly today. It's probably in the mid 40s. So it's not busy today. Usually it's very busy. But I think today, not a lot of people are here. Definitely. Uh, usually, the spot where I park right now, there's like a super long line of cars. Well, I'm going to take a little walk and probably capture some sounds and some video. Today was pretty cloudy. This morning I was on set and uh, I had to wear my mask for five hours and I kind of hear my ears. That was only five hours, so imagine people who are on 12, 16 hour sets, COVID-19 type sets. But, uh, and it was real cloudy, so it wasn't pretty. And I wish I actually did come out earlier when I was thinking about doing it because the sun has just risen, obviously, because my face is like, bam. But um, let's get out there. So I reached a spot where the waterfall kind of streams to under this bridge. And I'm just kind of like maybe 20 feet past the entrance of the tunnel. And I'm trying to do my best to block the sun because it's really bright. I can't point the other way because it won't look good. But I think I'm going to record just ambience here. Uh, we're going to capture a bunch of the waterfall from the distance and the traffic that goes above this bridge here. And it's Sunday, so it's not that busy. So let's do our best. I walked down over here because I've never been on this side of the gardens. and. There was a lot of people on the other side, like, taking pictures and video and stuff. And all in one very specific area, which was going to be the spot I was going to use and just stay there because I don't have much time. So I chose this spot, and I think it turned out good. Uh, we got about 30 minutes of light left, so I think I'm going to pack it, call it a day, and get back to the car. I've been using the Zoom F1 to vlog and to make my videos with lately, just so I want to, so I can hear the sounds of it. Uh, I was gonna use my Deity WLAW Pro to connect this time, but then I was like, I want to keep using the mic they give and see how it is. It is still pretty big, like the soft tape I put on it, like it covers quite a bit of it, so it doesn't have much um, area to stick to on my shirt, but I think I'm ready to do a review on it because it's been quite a bit. Uh, I've only used it for maybe a few weeks now, but I've used it quite extensively. And I have the capsule for it now. That capsule came in late. Everything that came in has been coming in late or not coming in, and it's kind of driving me nuts. But the capsule I have for it is the mid side capsule, and it's very interesting. I think it processes the bi-directional microphone on its own and it creates a full left-right mix for you. I don't need anything to post. So it's pretty interesting. I'm not too sure on it. I tried to look at the manual and it didn't really say anything. And when I connect it to the F1, the part where it has a preamp button, if you use a lav, it changes to how wide you want that stereo separation. And that's pretty interesting. So I'm assuming that's what it does. Instead of me processing it in post, it just processes it automatically. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. I think I have more interest in uh, using the mid side more than the XY configuration from the F1N, F1N, from the H1N. I'm glad I came out. I'm glad I spent the 45 minutes uh, for walking and doing the little thing I did. It's kind of tough now because uh, the days are so short. 
it basically gets dark at five now and my days are like mornings to five, four to five. I can't really do anything, you know, and I have schoolwork too, so. But this week is Thanksgiving week and hopefully I can do stuff. I know my dad wants me to help him in the farm, but hopefully I can actually go out and like vlog and maybe adventure a little bit, who knows. And maybe we'll get some cool stuff from there.